Hey guys, it's me Davey from Utah Trikes, bringing you some news for Catrike this week. Catrike has been holding their prices throughout the pandemic and the years following, but the time has come for a price increase. Catrike is raising their prices for their trike models about $300 to $500, depending on the model, as well as increasing the prices for the ECAT and ECAT motor upgrades. With this price increase though, Catrike is now including a headlight and taillight that will integrate into the motor system. It comes stock with the upgrade as of April 2023. If you already own an ECAT, fear not, we sell this lighting option separately for all of those wanting to add a headlight and taillight to their system. The price of this lighting kit, if bought separately, is $330 and includes both a headlight and taillight that will plug straight into the Bosch system. The ECAT light system includes the Supernova Mini 2 headlight and TL3 Pro taillight to help keep your trike visible both day and night without the hassle of charging separate batteries. The Supernova Mini 2 is a bright and reliable headlight that has 235 lumens and 100 lux, providing ample visibility without being too bright that you blind oncoming traffic. This light serves perfectly as a daytime running light and for nighttime visibility. The taillight, on the other hand, is the TL3 Pro. This is the first Supernova taillight with a sensor brake light and emergency strobe. The brake light is controlled by a high precision 3 axis sensor that works without being connected to the brake levers. During braking, the taillight becomes almost 70% brighter. The TL3 Pro with 32 LEDs provides a bright and impressive warning effect with visibility from both the rear and side. In the event of an emergency stop, the taillight generates a pulsating warning signal that is easily seen by cars and other vehicles. We're big fans of this addition, and it's cool to see such a high quality lighting kit included with the motors. Even with the Catrike price increase, we feel you will not be disappointed with this upgrade. Now I'll pass it over to Chandler to show you guys how to install it. All right, so we're going to be installing the Supernova light kit for the Catrike, the Bosch Active Line Plus. Um, so first thing we got here, we installed the headlight, just bolts to a bolt here in the top of the boom. And then back here we have the tail light. It comes with a rubber strap, so you can mount it pretty much anywhere on the back where you'd like to put it through the seat. Um, for the tail light, route your cable down through the seat mesh and it'll come out the front here. And then the headlight, we're going to mount through the top of the boom. So for the headlight, there's a little hole here in the top of the boom. We've got a little plug here. So if you take that plug out, you can fish the wire down into there. So first, we got to take the side cover off. So here we have two torque bits right here, T20. Um, we're just going to loosen these up and this will remove the cover. And be careful not to lose the screws. Set that aside. So now in here you can see where all the wiring is. So we've got all the main wiring for the battery, the console. But you can see in there, there's two little rubber plugs here. That's where your lights are going to go. So first we're going to remove these. You can just use a pick tool. And then you can see just a little rubber plug. It just keeps the plug clean when it's not in use. So remove both of those. So grab your headlight wire. It's the one with the blue plug on it. And first thing we're going to do is start fishing it down the top hole here. So you kind of just push it through and it'll eventually pop out. So just throw it in there, route it somewhere where it's not going to get caught in the cover. And then leave a little extra on the top so we can route the plug back through. So what we're going to do, take the plug and a utility knife and we're just going to poke a little hole here in the middle of the plug and then we're going to fish this cable, the one coming out of the motor, up in. Just like that. And sometimes it helps to grab some pliers, but be careful not to squish the connector. Just like that. So now we can put that plug back in place and then that will seal up the motor and dress up the wire a little bit. And now you can plug the headlight into its wire. Push it until you feel the click and then give it a little tug, make sure it's tight. And then pull the slack, just like that. And now we're gonna plug it in. So with your blue plug, that's your headlight, we're gonna plug it into the top plug here. So you put it in and 
It can only go one way, so don't force it. So try it out a couple ways until you feel which way it's going to go. And then once you feel like you got it, push it in until you feel the click. And then give it a little tug to make sure that it's uh, fully seated. And now we're going to route the rear plug. The rear light is orange. And then this one, we're going to route it in here where the rest of these cables are coming out of the motor. So first thing you can do is plug it in to the last plug. Push it until you feel the click and then give it a little tug to make sure. And now you kind of just start routing it around. So you want to keep, keep these two orange sensors connectors. Those are going to be inside of here. So grab the cable a little bit further down and start working your way in, getting it routed around the cover. Using a pick tool or a screwdriver, careful not to poke through the wire, but kind of just help assist the plug in. Okay. Now that we got all the wires ran, we're going to take all the slack and kind of just start bunching it up into a little bundle. And then you're going to tuck that inside of itself. But just beware the, where your screw holes are going to be. You don't want to cover those because that's where the cover is going to go. So now take the cover and put the screws back in place. And as you're putting the cover on, just make sure that all the wires stay inside. Now take your T20 and tighten the screws back up. And now you have all the wiring done. Once you have all the wiring done, simply just turn on the console by pressing and hold the power button and then press and hold the plus button and that'll turn on the lights. Now they have the motor cover on and all the slack of the wires tucked up. You'll have your cable for your rear lights here coming through. Just take this and just cable tie it with some zip ties um, and just tie all the slack up with the rest of the wire bundle just to keep it out of the way. Um, and then from there, you're good to go. Thank you all for watching this little catch bike update video. Let us know what you think about this new inclusion in the comments below. We would love to hear your thoughts on it. Now remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.